Well, good afternoon. This is a good way to spend Easter Sunday. About an hour and a half ago, before it started raining a little bit, we had some sunrise. Somewhere around about noon, the sun finally shined a little bit. It's out there somewhere, but not very bright. But anyhow, I didn't have no new Easter bonnet to show off anyhow, so I might as well stay home. Can't go nowhere, so. Now I gotta work on uh, at D17. I'll show you what, what what's the matter. Well, yes, the other day I showed you a little bit what's the matter. I don't know whether them weights is heavy or not. Wasn't much over a ton. Anyhow, the bolts there broke off. Pulled out and broke off holding that axle on. And, uh, well, I'll go jack it up. Take this big tire off. I put it on several years ago. I suppose I can still handle it. If not, I'll have to get some help. Now then, I have to take this piece of the loader frame off. And, uh, well, first thing you gotta do is jack it up. Got that little jack down there. Won't have to pull very hard on the handle, but boy, I'll have to pump on it all day long. But anyhow, I got a. Looks like I'll have to take that hydraulic cylinder off to get that rear axle housing off, or even to get in there to get the bolts out. And there's a chance, it looks like, probably have to take that fender bracket off, maybe the fender, to pull that housing off to get the rest of the bolts out. But when I get the wheel off and get jacked up, I'll see whether might be able to get them studs out without tearing it clear down but I don't know anyhow that's what I'm going to do now so uh, I'll shut this thing off because as fast as I work this battery will run out long before I get anything done so I'll just show you what I accomplished when I get something done okay that's enough for now Got it jacked up and it come back down together. And so it pulled a little bit on them top bolts. But, uh, oh well. Might as well show you how we do mechanic work. And people just spend all day turning a wrench. I do it the hard way. Alright, I'll try to move this tire. Well, I got that done. Wasn't all that bad. Now I better go get some more tools. See what we see what we accomplish. <laughs> that don't work. Gotta go get the truck. Bring it out here, get the torch. Warm them up just a little. Then they'll come off. If not, we'll cut it off. Well, 
That did it. Yeah, I gotta take these bolts out. I got, got, I think that's loose. Uh, you need a good backup wrench to hold the other end. Wait there, a plumb. Not too many of you use plumb wrenches anymore. Yeah. Let's see what that happens there. Now we'll do something else. That must have been the one that made such an awful loud noise the other day when it broke. But, the bottom one's clear gone. That broke off parcel there. That broke off the surface. Well, I don't know. Looks like maybe got two that might be harder to get out if I take this housing off. Alright, that's where we're at. I just took that snap ring off there with some snap ring pliers. They were on that bolt there on the cylinder. Them snap ring pliers, I bought them in 1960 to change brake drum on a WD. Surprising I had something around here that long. I think I've done enough for today. I got it ready to come apart, get some help to handle the thing, and get it off. There's a uh, there's probably two bolts that'll have to be drilled out. Other than that, we'll see what we got later. All right. There's one that's not busted yet, but it was kind of bent a little. Yeah, good morning. Rained last night again. Everything's all wet. It's getting windy out. Since I got no count Chinese jack, must not be very good. It didn't stay up. Good thing I wasn't under it. Uh, got the old farmer jack there. Raising this up and down a little bit, wiggling it a little bit. Put some pry bars in it. Got it moved a little. Then it's time to get the skid loader and see what can yank her off there. Oh well. And uh Oh, I forgot yesterday. I think I'll have to patch the fender a little bit before I put it back on. Other than that, I guess time to get back to busy. I think I'll try it this way just not get so violent when it goes to lifting and pulling. We'll see what happens. Alright, well, hey. I'll let you watch. Maybe.
Now what we got? Oh, that's there. Looks like the dry brakes has got plenty of oil in them. Uh, these two bottom ones are going to have to be drilled out. These two, three will be unscrewed. That one's already out. So oh, I guess my little start skid loader up and put this piece in there out in the someplace out of the way and, and get ready for a long hard job getting them bolts out. Alright, that's enough for now. Thought I might as well show you what the brakes are on this thing. The, it's a band disc brakes. And here's a disc part. Band works around that and tightens it up. And then the disc uh, make it stop. And it looks like that is kind of oil soaked. And this one's a little bit on the thin side. Looks like I probably need a new oil seal there in there someplace. Uh, I guess I better make a phone call and find out what these parts might cost. Of course, I don't know there's any good reason to fix them. The tractor hadn't had any brakes that worked for 20 years. So, uh, I don't know where there would be any point in having one brake working. Uh, we'll see. I bet it cost a fortune to fix them. We'll find out. Alright, that's enough for now. Yeah, I got that part set in there. I bet that'll be a devil to get back in there. All you gotta do is some engineering or get a lot of help. <laughs> 